In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can showcase your X-Lite sequences by creating videos. I'm going to cover how you can create videos of the entire house preview, but also individual props. I'm then going to cover a way of doing a more controllable video output by using OBS. The reason for this is sometimes the built-in feature of x -Lights creates quite a, a dark video. So I'm going to show you how you can get more control over that. But let's firstly kick off with the inbuilt version. So you must make sure you have your sequence loaded into the timeline and rendered. And then it's a simple case of just clicking file, export house preview, give the file a name, and point it to a folder and click save. It will then take two or three minutes for it to generate your house preview. Now I'm going to show you how to do an individual model. So what I'm going to do here is just create a rendering in video of all of the effects that are on this timeline of this item. If you just wanted to do one effect, you would just make sure you just have one effect on the timeline. This is a case of right click, model, render and export. I'm going to click here to point it to my desktop. I'll delete this because I've already done this once. Okay. And the choices that you've got is compressed AVI, uncompressed AVI or animated GIF. The uncompressed AVI will create a very big file. So I'm going to use the compressed AVI onto my, des onto my desktop okay. and click OK. For a few seconds, your X lights will become unresponsive. And you can see I've got control back. So now I can go to my desktop. The AVI is sitting here. I double click zoom in a little and we'll notice that it's black that's because the, I, I had no effects on the beginning of the timeline and this as you can see this is three minute three minutes 56 this is the full effects of the timeline but if I fast forward a little bit you can see I've got the first effect come a little bit further oops sorry and there you go I've got another effect going on there and then another. So you can see we can record individual props. But let's go into this method now of how we can get more control. So how I've got my machine set up at the moment, I've got three monitors. You don't need three monitors to do this, but it's just handy to have uh, you know a little bit more screen real estate, but to just adapt this to what you need. But for now, I'm just going to be using, showing you my setup I've got X lights running on one of my monitors here in the top left. And then I've got the OBS, which I'm going to demo to you running on the second monitor with my house preview. I suggest really you have the house preview on an, on an entire monitor on its own, if possible, or make it as big as possible and shrink this OBS down. But let's kick off. So let me... Give you a big preview of what we're going to do so now we're in obs so i'm going to click plus to add a new scene and i'll call this you know x lights videos but you can give it whatever name you want and we now have a blank canvas that we can start building our video so i click plus on the sources and i'm going to do display capture and I want to be capturing the display that has my house preview on so that's the wrong display there we go this is the one with the house preview so I click OK now obviously I don't want to be capturing the entire display I just want to be capturing you know this part here so using these grab handles I press the alt key and I can now crop the element that I'm capturing. So I'm going to crop in. And once I'm happy, 
I can let go of Alt and now zoom out. Okay, and I'll crop in a little bit more. I don't need this. Move it around and zoom in. Now, as you can see, I can also record props this way as well. If I just wanted to record the mega tree, I could press the Alt key and I could just zoom in on the mega tree. But I said house preview, so there we go and zoom in. Now, I said I was going to give you more control over the image. So to do this, I right click on this display capture and I select filters. I click plus here and the filter I'm going to use is color correction. And you can see now we have options for gamma, contrast, brightness, etc. So I can brighten up the image. And alter the contrast. Brightness, but what I suggest you do in, in X lights itself, because you're going to be brightening up here, maybe turn the brightness down on your house image. But it's entirely up to you, you've got full control. Once you're happy, close. And this is it. We don't have to do this ever again. Once you start OBS in the future, it will all be configured. Make sure that your desktop audio is enabled by clicking like this. But disable your microphone because you don't want to be recording any, you know, you know, any of the noises in your house. Once you're ready to record, yeah, I would just go back to dual screen here. I would click the start recording button. I would then come over to my X lights, click play, and then the sequence will play. I'm not going to play it for copyright reasons. And then once it finishes playing, it's just a case of stopping the recording. Okay. So that's it. So until next time, see you later.